Hello friends, this video pair of linear equations in two variables part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. Now we've observed how difficult it was for us to solve the questions using graphical method. So now we'll use algebraic method to solve linear equations in two variables. There are three methods actually. The first is substitution method, the second method is elimination method and the third method is cross multiplication method. We will go through each of this. First is substitution method steps. To, to solve using substitution method, the first we have to do is we have to find the value of one variable in terms of another variable. For example, we have to find the value of y in terms of x. Once we have the value, then we have to substitute this. That's why the substitution word came. We have to substitute this value of y in another equation. And then the whole equation is reduced to one variable, right? So if we have find the value of y in terms of x and we have substituted this here, so everything becomes in terms of x, which can be solved. So once we have solved, now here also, if in this step, if we get a true statement, that means it has infinite solution and in this step if we get a false statement that means there is no solution and if I get a concrete value of x then using that value of x I'll find the value of y. I'll take an example before that let me explain once again. So let's suppose I have x plus y is equal to 5 is one equation and x minus y is equal to 7 another equation right. The first thing I'll do is we have to find the value in one variable. For example, I'll say in this case y is equal to 5 minus x. What I've done? I have found the value of y in terms of x. Now I'll substitute this value of y in this equation. So what I'll get here? x minus y is nothing but 5 minus x is equal to 7. Correct? This is nothing but this is one equation that is only in terms of x. And I can solve it. So what I'll get is 2x, this is minus x, 2x minus uh, is equal to 12. Or I'll get x is equal to 6. Correct. Similarly, now once I have the value of x, I can put this value of x in any equation. For example, in this I'll put. So I'll get 6 plus y is equal to 5. So I'll get y is equal to minus 5. I could have put in this equation also. Then I would have got 6 minus y is equal to 7 or y is equal to minus. Got it? What you have to do? First thing you have to find the value of y in terms of x or value of x in terms of y. Either way you can do. That means you have to find the value in one variable. So this is in one variable. Now this value I will substitute in this equation. So I got x minus instead of y I say 5 minus x that is equal to 7. The same equation instead of y I made 5 minus x. Then this whole equation is in the term of x. Now since this equation is on the term of x I get x is equal to 6 as the answer. I got x equal to 6 then I put this in this equation. Any of the equation I got the value of 5. That is the normal happy flow but there are two other unhappy flow. This two flow where you may get two I mean infinite solution or no solution. I'll take an example of infinite solution. For example, I say x plus y is equal to 2 and I'll say uh, 2x plus 2y is equal to 4. Let's suppose this is my equation. Now, x plus y is equal to 2. I'll write equation of y in terms of x. So y becomes 2 minus x. Correct? Now, this value of y, I'll put in this equation. So, this becomes 2x plus 2 into instead of y, I'll say 2 minus x is equal to 4. Correct? Just observe what I have done. x plus y is equal to 2. I am saying y is equal to 2 minus x because I am writing y in terms of x. I have got y in terms of x. In the second equation, instead of y, I am putting these values so that this whole equation is in terms of x now, which I can solve. So if I solve this, this becomes 2x plus 4 minus 2x is equal to 4. 2x, 2x cancel. So what I am getting 4 is equal to 4. 4 is equal to 4 is a true statement. That means this equation has infinite solution, infinite solution. So if you see what I have done here also, 
since we have got infinite solution we have stopped and we told infinite solution we can't find anything correct but if, if we had got this concrete solution for example x equal to 6 we would have substituted this value in this equation to get value of 5 this is step number 5 step number 5 is only when you get finite solution in c from step number 2 you can either go to step number 3 or you go to step number 4 or you go to step number 5 now let me take one scenario where it has false statement that is inconsistent so let's suppose take let me take x plus y is equal to 2 here and i'll say 2x plus 2y is equal to 3 let me take this statement now here also i'll write y in terms of x similarly so i'll say y is equal to 2 minus x i got the value of y i'll put it here so i'll put it here i'll make a space here for me so i'll get 2x plus 2 into y that is 2 minus x is equal to 3 correct instead of y i'm saying 2 minus x because y is equal to 2 minus x so instead of y i made it 2 minus x this becomes 2x plus 4 minus 2x is equal to 3 cancel cancel so i'm meaning 4 is equal to 3 which is a false statement which is a false statement and that's why i can say that this equation is having no solution that are they are inconsistent you see in graphical method also we had three option inconsistent that is no solution infinite solution or one solution here also the first thing we have to do is we have to find the value of y in terms of x or x in terms of y whatever is convenient to you so once you have y in terms of x now instead of y in the second equation i will put this value 2 minus x the second equation becomes only in terms of x now in this second equation is little tricky if i get a true statement that is infinite in this case for example i got 4 is equal to 4 that means it has an infinite solution if i get a false statement 4 is equal to 3 i will say it has no solution and if i get some concrete value of x for example x is equal to 6 that means i can say yeah this has a finite solution that is it has one solution now to find the other value of i mean to find the value of y what we'll do we'll just put the value of 6 in any of this equation to get the value of y steps are clear you find the terms y in terms of x then in the second equation you put that instead of y you put those values you get one equation that is only in terms of x now in that equation if you get concrete value of x good that means you are getting a finite solution and then you can find the value of y if you are getting a true statement that is infinite solution if you are getting a false statement like this 3 is equal to 4 that means there is no solution correct thank you Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.